Children, it is time to gather around because today I have a story I wanna share with you. Now, many of you know that I spent a few years in Alaska with my wife and kids, and it was there that I learned an interesting story about two lumberjacks. You see, one lumberjack was older and he was famous for being able to chop down trees super fast. But then there was a younger lumberjack who wanted to challenge him to a race. And so the older lumberjack agreed. The rules were simple. From sunrise to sunset, whoever chopped down the most trees won. So the day started and they both were chopping trees down and going to town. But did you know 45 minutes into that first hour, the older lumberjack took a break for 15 minutes. Well, this made the younger lumberjack even more excited. So he even starts swinging that ax even faster and stronger. And he also noticed every hour on the hour, the older lumberjack took a 15 minute break. Well, he knew he had this race and he knew he was gonna be the victor at the end of the day. And do you know what happened? And do you know who won? The older lumberjack did. And if you're surprised, so was the younger lumberjack. So much so that he asked, how in the world did you beat me? Because you took a break every hour for at least 15 minutes. The older lumberjack said, it's true. I did take a break 15 minutes out of the hour. But during those 15 minutes, I sharpened my ax. I think there's a valuable lesson for us to learn today. And it's one that the Bible teaches us also. You see, there's a very important verse in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. It says, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Now, there's a lot of things that we could explore and discuss today, but a couple things I wanna encourage you boys and girls at home is this. One, be very wise in choosing your friends and make sure you have some godly friends that believe the same as you so that you can encourage one another so that you can teach one another what you're learning in God's word. And then the second one's not gonna be very popular with you, but did you know there's a lot of value in actually resting and just being still and listening to God. And we do that by reading his word, by spending time in prayer, but actually just getting alone and being quiet. And maybe like that old lumberjack, you just set aside 15 minutes to hear from God, to read his word and to pray. I think that would be really good and you would be surprised by resting that way. You will be recharged and you'll be able to enjoy life even more and you will discover what it's like to be a child of God. But I also have a word of encouragement for older children today. It's from Deuteronomy 6 verse 7. So I would like to read it to you now. This is the word of God and it has some great guidance for us children of all ages. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. Now that word teach in the ESV and I believe the NIV uses the word impart, but it has this word picture in Hebrew of sharpening. And I know from experience that when you have a blade, something that you have that is sharp and if you use it, it's gonna get dull. And so you have to sharpen it over and over. And so parents and grandparents, one of my encouragements to you is to be patient as you pour into your children. And as you do rise up and as you do walk by the way, and as you sit down and as you lay down at night, take time to teach the children about God's word and help them see his promises, help them see God in creation. And again, this is something that's not one and done. We have to do it over and over. But you know what? It's so worth it. And this guidance is so important from Deuteronomy 6. I think it's one of the most important passages for parents in the whole Bible. God's word is so good. So boys and girls, remember the guidance given in Proverbs 27, 17, that iron sharpens iron. Choose your friends wisely and take time to rest and to spend time in God's word and in prayer. And then parents and grandparents and men and women who have been spending their lives investing in children, Remember the guidance given in Deuteronomy 6, 7. When you rise up, when you walk by the way, when you sit down and when you lay down at night, take time to teach the children well and remember that you need to do it over and over. And realize this, it is so worth it. Imagine seeing these children one day actually pouring into other children because of the investment you made in their lives. So until next time, bye-bye.